Okay, hello everyone. Um, this is gonna be my sorting video for April. I don't think I've started this video yet, but I'm honestly not sure. No, I don't I don't think I did, but yes, I actually have a lot of things to put away here. Uh, this is my little kind of stack, I guess. Um, but I just got my Nokia order in yesterday, and this is, like, a lot of that is this, so that is what will be happening here. Um, I think I want to go ahead and start out with my girl groups binder, um, so we can just go ahead and get started. So... What do I want to do? Oh, yeah. So, first things first, I do have this one card to put away for Lisa. This card, unfortunately, is damaged, but I kind of went over what I planned to do with this in my haul video. So, like, I'm going to put this in here, obviously, and then once I get these two cards, um, I might go back and replace this one. Because, honestly, you can't really tell that it's damaged, so for now, I don't mind. So, yeah. That's really that. But, can move on here. So, the next group is Ipsy. And I just have a few things to put away here. So I have um, some of Chae Young's No Bad Days cards. So I just have her January, February, and March. So I'm just going to go ahead and put these away. I don't have April yet. I don't even know if it's out. I mean, I can only assume it is, but I just haven't looked for the card yet. So I'll have to do that. But this will just be like a cute little collection. I'm really excited to like see this grow. I'm also really excited for Itzy's comeback. That'll be fun for sure. But then next we have Eyes One. So here I just have this card to put away. So we have this one. So this just completes this collection entirely. Very happy with that. And then I think I do have the uh, pre-order set for One Reeler. So I'm just gonna stick this right behind Chan's cards because I feel I don't think I'll be adding anything to this collection. Like I think it's finished. So we can just. So we put these in. And I honestly do not know age order, so I need to look it up. Okay, so I think I have them in the correct order. So I'm actually just, since there's 13 of the cards, I'm going to put seven on one page and then six on the other, I think. I put the group in the middle there and then... I think this is how I want it. I honestly have no clue. So I'll, I'll put fillers in later. I'm not really worried about it right now. So I don't know. Do I want to do like... Let's see. We'll try. Is this how I want it? I feel like this will be the best. Yeah, I don't think that's bad. I think this this will work. It might look better when I put the fillers in it. So we'll just leave that there. Um, but that was everything I had to put away in my girl group, so that's fun. Okay, I'm popping in here to put back some things that I missed. Um, I just missed some bigger things for Eyes One. So, let's see. I just have these uh, three one-reeler inclusions, and I don't know exactly where I want to put them. Um, I actually think I will put these things here, so I'm going to put her stickers on the back of this here. And then I'm going to put this here for now. I'm probably going to rearrange this at some point just because I realize my bigger inclusions for Eyes One are very messy, but um, I think I'm going to stick this down here just so you can see it. I don't know if I plan to get the other two of these, but we'll see. But moving on. So next I think I'll go through my obtention binder. This one's a little dusty. I haven't gone through this in a while. Okay, so I just need to see what I have. I do have this stack of cards and also these few cards. So let's see. And I also have these cards, which I'm pretty sure I already have all of these, but I'm just kind of making sure because I'm not entirely sure if I put all of my duplicates in here like I thought I did. So we'll have to check. All right. So I do not believe I have anything for Top Secret or Bravo, but I do have some for spotlight so i believe i have jin hyuk's cards for spotlight and i think that's it but where is it okay that should be it so where does jin hyuk even go so it goes jin hyuk kun kogyo does he go here i think he goes here it's really hard for me to pinpoint exactly where jin hyuk goes in the age order because i haven't collected full group while He's been active in the group, so yeah. But we can just put this one here. I believe that is right. 
I think he goes after Colgill. Because then we have Bito. Whatever, I don't know. Um, and then I do have Summer Go cards. That should be it, but... Okay, so I think this one goes on this page. And then I believe these ones go on this page, I think. Let's see. Yeah, this should be right. Let's see. Jinno and Jinhyuk. Honestly, it's really nice to put in these cards because I feel like I just haven't really gotten the chance to do a lot of good work on these sets yet. So um, it's just nice to do that. Uh, and then I do have burst cards. Jinhu and Wei. And Jinhu. So we just have this one card that goes on this page. Which I'm happy that this set is getting some work done to it because that is my favorite obtention set. And then we have this set. Okay, so there's that. Actually, I have six out of ten. Well, eleven for this set. And then we have Stardom, so we have three different sets for Stardom. And I believe that's all I have. So this is the only one that goes on this page. Super cute. Uh, and then this one goes on this page. And then these two go, should go on this page. So Wei goes here. Honestly, it's easier for me to call Jin Hyuk Wei and I don't, I don't know. I always have to second guess myself before I call him Jin Hyuk. Because I also talk about a Jun Hyuk quite a bit, so. I'm always afraid I'm gonna call him the wrong name. But I don't think I have anything for this album. No, and I do have stuff for this album, so let's see. So I just have Kyujin, okay. Jinyak goes here, and then Kyujin goes here. Also, I hope you can see all this okay. I'm not really looking in the viewfinder, so if this is all really bad, then I guess that really sucks. Oh, I have Bito for that set too, so. So actually, I'm really close with this set and I didn't realize it. So that's fun. I have seven for this, so I'm missing th four, I think. And I don't have anything for this set. And I do have Jinhu for this set. This one is super cute. I really love this set for this album as well. I think this is also one of my like top favorites. And then I actually do have this card here, Bito and Sunil's unit card, so here is that, and this is a finished set, so that's really fun. And then we have Labyrintho, which I actually really like these cards too, um, but these ones are like harder to come by, and I think Wusuk specifically for one of these versions, I don't know which one, but I'm pretty sure that one's really hard to find, so that kind of sucks. But which version is first? Okay, I put this version first. Okay. And then put this version in. Okay. And that's it. Okay, and then we can move past this. Go on to Moment of Illusion. So um, I just have three things to put away here, I think. These like transparent circle cards are like my lowest priority. I really don't want to put that much effort into collecting them. But I obviously want them eventually. Okay, and then these two go here. So Jinhu can go here. And then right, Vito goes here. And that should be everything I have for circle cards. So let's find out what I have to do next.
Okay, so I do have this card here. So this is just a card from... This is one of the later fan signs. I think this is from the fan sign that they did on Halloween, maybe? I'm not 100% on that, but it's, it is definitely one of the later fan signs. So I'm putting this in here. But I'm going to switch this up a little bit. So this is how this page will look. It's finished. So these are all my light up like fan sign and pre-order cards for Xiao. So that's fun. And then I actually do have a card to put here. And I believe this one goes here based on what's on the back. Because if you look at that, yeah. Because he wrote a message in the corner. It should say, I love you, honey 10, something like that. I don't know. And what's next? Okay, so last thing I need to put away goes here, actually. So I have this broadcast card for Zhao. This is from the Moment of Illusion. So I'm going to stick this here because it was after everything here, I think. Yeah, definitely. Um, so this page will get filled out eventually for things I plan to add here. Um, Obtention just recently did two fan signs um, and they had cards for that so I plan to get those and put them here. Um, even though they're technically light up era because you had to buy light up albums to get into the fan sign, I'm not going to put them with light up pre-orders and things um, just because I don't think it's necessary. But also something that I'm planning to add to this, at least binder, not this section, is the card set for the fan sign that Obtention are doing like soon. It's coming up. Um, so they're doing that through Make Star. So there's hollow cards and I really like them. They look really nice. So I want to have the full set. So hopefully I can get my hands on those. But that should be everything for this binder. I don't think there's anything else I need to add. All right, next I think we can go ahead and put away my twice stuff. Okay, so let's see. I do actually have quite a few things to put away here and I'm pretty excited about it. I think it's significant. So first thing I think is what is love. So I do have some cards to finish out this page. I believe it should be entirely finished. And I'm just checking to make sure these cards aren't in here already. Yeah, so this is what should finish out this page. And I'll probably, I'll probably go back and reorganize this at a later time because maybe, maybe this is actually how I want it. Maybe. I don't know. We'll see. But for now, I think that looks fine. And then I just have one card to add here. So I just need to add Jung Yun's. And then moving on to Summer Nights. Um, I do have cards to finish this set. See. So I'm going to put this tan border in the middle. And then I'm going to put this one up here. Okay, so this set is finished. So with that, I finished my What is Love collection and then my Summer Nights collection for Jihoo at least. Very happy because this is a long time coming. Um, if you didn't know, I had actually, this was a while ago, but there was a point where I decided to downsize my Twice collection a little bit. And so I sold some of my What is Love and Summer Nights cards. And that's kind of why I hadn't finished it yet. It's because I sold some, which is unfortunate, but we have them all back now. And then I have cards to add here. So I have Mina's and Momo's. So I'm going to put those away. Okay, so I'm just missing two cards for this, which is nice, Jungyun and Dahyun. So then I just need to move to the Year of Yes, okay. And we have this card, I think I'm gonna stick this one right here. And I think that's all I have for this album. Okay, and then I need to go kind of towards the back more. Okay, so I don't know exactly how I plan to go about doing this, but I do have some non-album things for Jihyo and like, some Japanese things. So I don't have plans to fully set this up yet, but I have her twice set as well. well. I have some of the cards and all of them. So I think I'm gonna get another nine pocket. So I'm gonna stick this here. And I'm just gonna add this here and then this one here. Because, okay, so I'll explain how I plan to organize this as this collection grows. So I do plan to collect Jihyo's, like, 
Japanese like album cards and those will go on one page of their own well however many pages it takes but you know what I mean and then um, I plan to collect the Polaroids of hers as well and those will go on its own separate section as well just for now I'm gonna put them on the same page because I do not have any other cards of these like at least on the way right now so we can deal with that later and then I think I will put the trading cards after that yeah I think that's a good idea but I think I want to put this one in the middle because it's like sparkly and whatnot and then I don't know how I want to lay these out okay actually I think I'll do this so I'll put like the ones where she's well I guess the horizontal cards here actually I think let's see restart I'll put this one here no what do I want to do I'll put this one here this one here and then this one here and then did I say these were horizontal these are definitely vertical these ones are horizontal and I think I'll put these ones here And then I'll fill in, oh. Okay, and then I'll fill in these spots with fillers later. But that was everything that I needed to put away for my twice binder. Hopefully that, hopefully this collection will kind of grow. And I also kind of want to reorganize this because I don't know, I just don't really know what I'm doing with it right now. So I'll probably have to do that at some point. All right, next we can do this binder. So this is obviously where I keep all of my uh, UNB, Hotshot, JBJ stuff. No, I, I don't plan to talk about anything that has happened with Hotshot uh, recently. I just prefer not to. Yeah, anyways, I just have some UNB stuff to put away. And let's see, I honestly don't have much. I just have some Hansel things to put away. So here I just have his boyhood cards. So this just leaves me with two cards I need here. And then I have his selfie card as well. So again, I only have three cards to put away here. And then I don't have any like limited edition cards. I can just go to, oh, I didn't realize I already had this card, but I guess that makes sense. So I guess I'll put that away. And this set so this one goes here I don't know if I ever mentioned but I did like kind of fully set up for these collections at one point and like put in fillers and everything so yeah but I think this one goes here is this no blue version okay that makes sense I guess I don't know pose confuse me also the I put the color I put the opposite color of the back because like these ones are the blue, and then the, I put blue for the orange back. I don't know why I did that. I should have corresponded the colors. That would make more sense, wouldn't it? Um, and then we have, okay, this one goes here. But yeah, this is going slow still. I'll probably try to do some work on this, I don't know. But we can move on here. And we just have this All of Our Memories card, which goes here. And yeah, that's everything I had to put away for this binder. Okay, and next we can go through NCT. And yes, the front of this looks really messy, but I plan to fix it at some point, just not yet. Um, so I just have some stuff to add in here. I don't have much. Okay, so what do I have? I have some Johnny things, I have some resonance things, and I have some wavy things. So I have his regulate card, Johnny's regulate card. So we can just put this one away here. I do have one of Johnny's regular irregular cards coming, um, and I do have his cherry bomb card coming as well. I just need to find his other uh, regular irregular card. And then I have this card as well. So this one someone gifted to me, which is very nice, and I'm very happy and thankful to them for doing that. Um, and then, let's see, I have his T version card, so that goes here. And um, I am just looking for Johnny's other version of, what is this album called? The Final Round? 
So I'm, I'm getting kind of close to finishing his album card collection. I wasn't really planning on finishing it so quickly, but I don't know, since I've seen the cards, it's not hard to kind of just buy them, you know. The next we have Wavy, so I have three, no, yeah, three Wavy cards, and this one I need to move, so this one goes here. And actually, okay, so I decided for this album that I actually don't want to collect Shaojun anymore, at least for this album. The reason is because I felt like, um, so this is kind of the story of my Wavy bias list. Um, I first initially biased 10, like that was kind of default because I've always biased him since like 2016. So it was just kind of a given that I'd always collect him. And then when Wavy debuted, I wanted to collect another member and I wanted to collect one of the new members. Like I would have considered Sha Shaojun my second bias when I started getting more um, familiar with the new members. And then um, I started collecting Lucas because he became one of my biases as well. And then um, just recently, like I guess with Resonance, I really started to go really fond of Yang Yang and I started to legitimately bias Yang Yang. So that's why I'm collecting him now. And I just don't feel like I bias Xiao Jun as much as I do Yang Yang. So I kind of want to start collecting Yang Yang now instead. Um, and I think that's okay because especially after this album, I'll just start putting stuff away. But especially after this album here, I plan to do some downsizing to my wavy collection and that's just kind of in general I don't I think I'm just gonna collect Tan and Yang Yang moving forward um, and that's always subject to change but for now this is just my plan so um, I'm not gonna collect Xiao Jin for this album anymore especially because I just don't have the drive to do it um, I just kind of want to like finish this collection and kind of move on with it. I don't want to collect four members, just straight up. I don't feel like collecting four members. Um, but then, okay. So actually I pulled this Lucas card in my second copy and I bought this from Mercari Japan and then I actually traded for this 10 and then um, I pulled this Yang Yang. So I am trying to trade for the last 10 card I need um, but I don't I don't know if that'll be able to happen, but also I'm not able to buy it because it's gonna be very expensive But um, I'm gonna try to finish Yang Yang here soon and I'm gonna Fix the filler situation here, but there will be three members just like with Awaken the world, but um Actually, I think I might go back and collect Yang Yang for Awaken the world, but for now I'm not really worried about it, but I'll still I'll, I'll still keep Xiaojun um, But then this is where it kind of switches and then after this album, it'll probably switch up some more. So, yeah. Then moving on to Resonance. Um, I actually am eventually going to get Jisung's card. I finally picked out which ninth card I wanted for this page. And it is Jisung because it is very cute. So that'll happen eventually. And then I do have to put Yang Yang away here. So this page is technically complete. But I do plan to get Runjun's card for the last card that I want to fill in this page. So that'll be fun. And then I have Sung Chan's card to put away here, which just leaves me with one card that I need for this entire album to completely complete my entire plan for this album. Um, so I will say this again, I'll say this for the thousandth time, but if you have, if anyone has Jeno's arrival card and you're willing to sell it to me for a decent price, please let me know because I'm getting increasingly more frustrated as time goes on and I can't find that card for a decent price so but that was that and I just have to go back here and I also have Johnny's postcard from Limitless so we can just add this in here and I feel like this kind of fills out the page really well I think um, these postcards from Limitless are really nice um, at least for the members that I collected because I feel like some of the members have like weird postcards for this album and I feel like these ones just look really nice together so yeah, that's really fun. But that was all I had to put away for. And then we can go to my boy groups binder and I actually have a lot to put away for that binder. So that'll be interesting. Okay, I'm coming back at a later time to put in something that I missed. Um, I ended up pulling this postcard from my extra copy of, what's it called? Uh, Kickback. So I'm going to add this here. I totally forgot about some of the bigger things. So we're just going to add them. And yeah, I ended up pulling... 10's postcard set so that's really nice um, I got lucky in some respect but it's only a little bit annoying that I get lucky pulling 10 in 
the thing that I don't really plan to collect super thoroughly, so that's fun, but moving on. All right, so here's my Blood Groups binder. I do genuinely have a lot of things to put away here, so yeah. Um, first things first, I have some AB6 things I need to put away, so I have some cards from their A New Hope album. Actually, I need to finish out this page. So I have this card here to finish out this version. I'm still looking for this card. I thought I bought it, but I, actually, I had actually bought the wrong, I bought this one a second time, which I very rarely ever do that. So I was kind of disappointed. And then I have some cards from A New Hope I need to put away. So I'm just gonna quickly take out all these fillers. So I have all of Daehui and all of Donghyun. So I'll put Donghyun first. So I'll put these ones here. And then I will put these here. Okay, and then I will put Daehui's. I'll try to like match the kind of version here. So this one can go here because the outfits match. And, oh gosh, this is, okay. So then, all right, I got it. This one can go here. This one will go here. And then this one will go here. So that is that page. And then for this page, um, I have some units and also these two Dehui Make Star cards. So what I figured I'd do with those is, well, I guess this page in general, let me see. I'm gonna put these in the middle because they are the two members I was collecting for this album. I'll put this one in the middle. And then I'm going to put the other units I got here. Now I'll put this one here. And this one here. And yeah, I'll put the album cards I pulled up here. And then I can put the two Day We Make Star cards down here. So yeah, that is just how this will look. And then eventually um, I'll need to set up for their new album. So yeah. And then next we have CIX, which I actually do have stuff to put away here, which is very fun. And I did reorganize this. I was planning to put chapter three and then chapter four. I know I don't think it's technically chapter four, but you know what I mean? I was technically planning to put both of them on the same page, but I figured I did not care to do that anymore. So we're not, um, but I have these two cards from this album to put away. And which version goes first? I don't know if this is the red version that goes first or what, but I'm putting the red version first. I'll probably reorganize this when I get the other two cards in the mail because I do have them coming. But for now, this is how that will look. And I'm probably gonna put the two little like Polaroid-y type things of Jin Young here. Is there group cards for this album? I don't know, but this page will definitely look different by the time you see it next probably. And I also do have one of Jin Young's chapter three cards in the way. So that is a win for me because I've not been able to find any of those. But then next we can go to JBJ95. So I actually have a lot of stuff to put away here and this is pretty much completing this collection. Not entirely, but I'm pretty close. Okay, so this card is a duplicate, so I can move that. But otherwise, let's see. These are all the photo cards I have to put away. I have a lot of bigger stuff as well. Um, so we have these postcards from Jasmine and then these postcards from Home. And I also have these transparent cards, but I don't know what I'm gonna do with them, so. I might try and figure that out but for now I can put those to the side and I also have these bookmarks as well so we can definitely figure that out as we go because I don't really know what I'm gonna do with those but here we go I'm gonna put these away definitely very close to finishing and I might reorganize because I don't plan I don't know if I plan to get this last unit card I don't know yet but I can take these two out. 
them here. So as it stands of right now, as of right now, I just have two cards I'm missing from this album. Technically one, but I don't, I don't know if I'll get this last unit card. And then we have Awake, and I just have this this card here. This is a duplicate. I wasn't sure which one I was missing, so we can just put this one up here. And again, I'm not sure if I plan to get this unit card, but we'll see. And then we have Spark, so we have this one, this one, and I think that's it. So let's see. Okay. And I'm, again, I'm not sure about the last unit card I need because I'm not really worried about it. So, I mean, I'm just happy to have like their individual cards completed. And then we have Jasmine, which I have completed as well. So we have unit, Kenta, Kenta, another unit, which I don't know why that's in there. Um, okay, and Sangyun, okay. So I'm just gonna stick this unit card on the back. No, not that way, this way. And then I'll just put these, the rest of these cards away. Which version? Okay, so I think I'll put this one here. And then these two here. And then I can put this one here, I think. Yeah. And then these two up here. This last one in the corner. So I'm very happy to have this set done. This is the only set I have completely finished. So that's really nice, but I really like the Sunken card like a lot. So I'm very happy to have that. Okay, and then we have bookmarks and I don't know what I'm gonna do with this. Okay, so I just recently got these six pockets and I don't know if these will fit. So let me check. I have a feeling they won't. Ooh, they actually kind of do, but they stick out a little bit. So I think I'll use them for now just because I feel like it's it'll be best for that. So if we separate them by version, I have three of each version. That should be right. Okay, I'm gonna put, I have, okay. I have one of Sangyun for each version and two of Kenta for each version. But I really appreciate that it turns out to be six that I have total because uh, this would have been weird organization otherwise, so. Yeah, but that looks nice. And I do not know what to do with these at all. So like they're, oh, they're not really too big for this, but I don't know. I have no idea. I think I'm just gonna stick these here for now. I know they'll stick out. But it kind of like works, at least for now. I don't really know what to do with these otherwise because there's no room for them on like the normal just page for this album so yeah okay and then we have postcards so I need to put the home postcards first so I'm gonna organize these by version as well okay I have two uh, no three of each version so I just need three I don't know should I double side um, I just have two Two pockets here i'm gonna double side them because i figure like what's the reason not to and i'm also running really low on these two pockets uh, fun fact i bought a hundred pack of two pockets when i first started collecting and i still haven't used them all up but they're very clearly old and dusty so i'll have to like do something about that okay i'll put these first hopefully they fit if they don't i'm gonna cry okay they do and I'll just put Kenta on the back here. And then I'll put this Sangyun on the back of this one. So there's that. And then you can put these Kenta ones here. All right, and then I do have more postcards for Jasmine. And I'm just checking to see if these are duplicates. So this one is and this one is, okay. So 
yeah, I'm just gonna stick these on the back. So that is how that looks, and that is all the JVJ95 stuff I have. Basically a completed collection, so I'm very happy about that. Then moving on, I have some Wii Eye stuff to put away. I just have, like, I have a, an array of things. So first things first, I need to put these two cards away. And finish out this page, which I'm very happy with, by the way. I might rearrange this page at some point, but for now, this is how it looks. And then this is how I plan to, like, collect their most recent album. So I also have this card, which I don't know what to do with. Obviously, it's not an album card. It definitely looks like one of the album cards, but it's not. Um, I don't know really where it's from either, but... Um, I'll figure out what to do with this at a later point. I have some transparent cards, and I don't really know which version is which. Um, let's see. Oh, okay. This says versions on the back, but these don't say versions. Neither does this. Oh, I don't know where this goes. Okay, um, I'll put these away first. These pages are definitely going to get reorganized as time goes on, because I don't really know what goes where. Or like exactly how I want this organized yet so and we have this one which is the nothing version I do have some more things from this album on the way I just uh, it didn't get to the Neokia warehouse in time for me to like send it with all my other stuff so yes and then I believe okay so I think this must be the nothing version so this one can go here and then I think this is this one must be the challenge version so there's that, and I'm going to take a guess and say that this is the nothing Polaroid because uh, he's wearing the same outfit in these cards. So that's the first little bit I have. I do have like a lot more cards coming, and I'm at the moment only missing seven cards, I think. So yeah, and then I have some bigger things to add. So again, I'm going to try with this six pocket. Um, I just want to see if this fits. It, it does but it doesn't so I'm gonna keep in there actually um, we can just put this in here these fit in here pretty well they're obviously a bit small but I don't know where else I'd put them and then this is the all version so I'm gonna change out the sleeve eventually because it's scratched but for now that's what that looks like I don't know what I'm gonna do with this but then we also have postcards um, I have both of Dohan's postcards from the first album I put this one first And then this one can go here. And I do have all the postcards and things from this album on the way. So that'll be finished eventually. But yeah, that was that. Okay, and lastly, I have... Well, I'm going to go all the way to the back of this binder. And I'm just going to stick this here. And I have this Mujin card from Kingdom. And I told myself when I bought their album that I was only gonna keep the card in the album if I pulled Mujin, and here he is. So I'm keeping him, and he's gonna go here for now. Um, I don't know if he'll stay in this binder. He might move to my other binder of like other collections because I don't have plans to like for sure collect Kingdom or even a member of Kingdom. So uh, I just really liked the music on Kingdom's debut album, so I bought it and kind of gave myself that condition of whether or not I could keep the photo card and yeah. So we'll see where that takes me, but that was everything for this clip. Um, I will have stuff to add to this kind of 101 section here because Daniel had a comeback. Um, Jaehwan did too, but I'm not buying that right now. And Jisung is coming back, so um, there will be things to add here for the first time in a while. And that was everything for now. I will see you in the next clip. Okay, hi everyone. So I'm back to film the last clip of this video. I just have a few things to put away, so I'm just gonna try to go through this rather quickly. We can just get started with my twice binder. So I only have a few things to put away here, but we can just get started. I just need to go to what is love. So the first thing I have to put away is this Mina card. So this just goes right here. Super cute, super happy to have done some work on this collection because I just haven't really looked at it in a while. So Next card goes here, actually, so I just have this Jihyo pre-order from Yes or Yes, and that finishes out that set. One last thing to worry about there. 
and then I need to go back to more and more so I am collecting some of the units so I recently did a trade for this one I don't know if you can see that but this one looks like it goes in the middle here what is this oh hmm why do I have that there I'm gonna stick this here and I'm gonna take this out for now maybe I'll just put it like on the back of this I don't know why I have that yeah anyways I need to go to eyes wide open now and then I have these cards to put away I have this unit one which I do have set up for so I can put that one here and I actually have this one so I think actually I plan to I think I'm gonna make this page like fully nine cards so I'm gonna stick this one here and then um, the uh, like the other four member unit I plan to put here and then I can just put like OT9 cards in the corners. I think that'll work. And I think in the end it'll look pretty nice. But for now, this is just what this page will look like. I'll fix it later. But that was everything I had to put away for twice. Okay, so here's the next binder. I just have some UMD things to put away. I'm kind of just grabbing binders at random. So I guess we'll see what we can get. But yes, like I said, UMD. So I just have these two cards to put away, black and orange. So actually, it looks like this card finishes out this set. So that's really fun. It's my first first finished set and then we have the orange set which I think goes here it should yeah for sure so June just goes down here and yeah so um I got a few cards someone had gifted those two cards to me which I'm very thankful for and the next time I get into Yokio haul I'll have at least a few things to put away in here but for now that's it okay so next binder is boy groups so let's see this is my little stack looks like i have daniel cards to put away and we i cards to put away so we can just go to the back so we can do we i first so this is my setup for their last comeback most of the cards i have are actually at the neokia warehouse so i don't really have much to add here but i just have these three cards these two were a gift and then this one was just um, in one of the sets I bought from Ricard Japan. So I think I will put this card here. It's nothing version. And we can put it next to like the Polaroid because it kind of matches. And then I have two hollow cards. Um, and I think I'm just going to put them on this page for now. I'll s turn those around because I don't think I want to take those out. And I'll just, I'll just stick them in here because... Um, I'll probably do more of a non-album kind of page for him eventually, but I don't really have enough to warrant it at the moment, so that's just what that'll that's just what that'll look like. But then next for Daniel, we can kind of bring that back to the center. Um, I have set this up to collect a little bit more for him, so I just have plans to fill out this row with two more cards from his first album, and then I want well, I have two cards to put away for his first album because I bought the version of it that I didn't have, so. I'm just gonna stick these here for now and I just plan to get one more card to fill up this row for this album and then we have magenta here and I have two magenta cards for this page and my plan for this page is that I'm going to collect well first I'm gonna put this card in here and this card probably here and so I plan to collect three more selfie cards from this album and then one more concept card. And I'll rearrange this so it looks better, but my end goal is to have a nine pocket page of magenta cards. And then if we move on to this page, I have five cards to put away for yellow. So I'm going to put the lenticular in the middle. And I don't really know which version is which, but I'm going to put these cards up here and I'm going to put them up here because I like these cards the most. So yeah, I especially really love this card and you can't, you can't see it. Well, you kind of can. Um, I also have these two cards as well. I really like this one. And so I'm going to put these down here. And then again, my end goal for this page is to have two more from each version. So it'll fill out a nine pocket page for this. So yeah. Um, but then I have some of these to put away the film strips, and I don't really know where they go. So I'm going to stick this one here because I think this one is 
from Cyan. And then over here, I need to put this one. Here, the, here. no, yeah. And then um, I'm gonna put this one down here. And that's how that'll look. I'm just gonna, honestly, this is gonna look bad, but I'm gonna stick this one in here too because I just don't have anywhere to put that one right now. So yeah, but that is just what's going on in here. That was all I had to put away for my boy groups. So next we just have my girl groups. So I have some black pink things to put away actually. So I have one highlight that thing to put away. Well, I'm gonna stick this one down here because I think her other two cards actually have purple backgrounds. So it probably worked best to put those there. Uh, yeah, because these are like the same version. The other, the other two have pink backs, I think. And then I actually got the K-Town For You card. So I have this group one and I plan to try to trade the Jisoo's I have for Lisa, but I don't know how that's going to go. So I think for now, I'm just going to stick this here. I'm going to try to rearrange later. I don't know if this will stay here, uh, mostly just because uh, this is bigger than the nine pocket page and I don't know if I want to keep it there for now. So yeah, and then I also have a card to put away here. So I have this one from the album. So I'm just going to stick this one here. And I think that works. I actually have cards from Rose's album to put away, so I think I'll put them here. So I'm going to put the nine pocket in. And I have the K-Town For You cards. And I also have two of the actual cards from the album. So I think the way I want to go about organizing this is putting these in the middle, since there's three of them. These cards are really pretty. I love them, by the way. And then I'm going to put the two Polaroids uh, on the top and bottom. So that one just down there and this one up here. And I'll probably put fillers in here eventually. But for now, this is what this looks like. I think this is really cute. Um, I also have to put in the postcards. So we're going to see if they fit in three pockets. Oh, actually, I totally forgot that I have this Lisa postcard, so we'll put that in last. But these are the postcards I have, so I think I'll put these on the front and then this one on the back because you can't see your face in this one very well, so we'll see if they fit, but this one up here. Oh, okay, these just fit. Super nice, love that. But I really like this postcard a lot. I think it's super pretty. But yeah, I'm gonna put this one on the back. So that'll just be back there. And then again, I have to put this away. So I'm gonna stick this one here. And the other one will go here. I think that's how I want it. But yes, I did end up pulling that one, so that's really fun. Then I have to go back to Eyes One which I'm super, super sad about them disbanding. Uh, it feels super weird, but I mean, it is what it is. Um, let's see, where did, I have this Sakura card that I traded for and I don't know where I want to put it because I did this. I think actually, I guess what I'll do is I'll just take this card out, move this down, Her scene two cards are here. This is scene one, so I'm gonna put this one here. And then I think for now, I'm just gonna stick this card on this page and I'll rearrange later because right now, just isn't the time. So that will look better, but for now, you know, it is what it is. But yeah, so we can move on to the last thing now. All right, so last binder is my attention binder. And I just have a few things to put away here. I need to go to stardom first, which is here. So the first card just goes on this page. And then this one goes on this page. Super cute. And then I need to go to invitation. So this card actually goes on this page and I'm doing pretty well with this set. Pretty happy with that. I'm only missing, looks like two cards. So we're doing good. And then I just need to go to Labyrintho. 
so I have this way card so this one goes in here I really like these cards like as a whole this whole set but I feel like these cards are probably gonna take me a while to get my hands on and then I have this way card as well so just to come here and yeah that's that so yeah that was everything I needed to put away here um, that was the video um, I really hope you all enjoyed thank you for watching and I will see you in my next video